The Prime Minister has clearly been shamed into going to COP27 and the fact that he had to be dragged kicking and screaming to going to this important summit shows he just doesn't get it in terms of the link between the climate crisis and the energy bills crisis we face. What we need to be doing is working with others for a clean energy sprint to cut bills, create jobs, ensure energy security and tackle the climate emergency. Well now that he's been shamed into going he needs to actually make sure that he has an impact. And the way he has an impact is going to COP and arguing for the clean energy sprint we need. Because we know we face an energy bills crisis, that's what households and businesses are facing. And there is an answer to this, which is to go full pelt for solar, renewables, and other clean forms of power. Now, Rishi Sunak has shown himself very reluctant on this. Uh, today, there are indications the government is going to carry on with the ban on onshore wind, one of the cheapest, cleanest forms of power we have at our disposal. So I hope that he's not just going to go, but he's going to go and argue for the clean energy that we need, which will help to cut bills and ensure energy security.